So in here, I've started a very basic milk sauce. Flour and butter, whisk it together for just a minute. You don't want it to color. Then add in one cup of milk and a half a cup of cream. This is gonna be for a creamy Mexican poblano sauce to make our Mexican turkey, corn, and mushroom casserole. So once I get the cream in there, I'm just gonna let this thicken up nice and gently while I literally pulverize in my uh, high power uh, blender here, or you can use your food processor at home. One cup of turkey stock, that's to help everybody get along, or you can use chicken stock. You know, makes it move while it's pureed. And then these are all raw, guys. A handful of cilantro, three raw poblano peppers. Seed them first and then just coarsely chop them. A couple of cloves of garlic. And one onion, chopped. And just puree it up. Then we're gonna let this cook out in our milk sauce for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now I've got about three quarters of a pound of button mushrooms, or you can use cremini mushrooms if you like a beefier flavor to your mushrooms once they're cooked out. Now I'm gonna add a little butter to some olive oil, turn the heat up on this pan. And you're gonna brown the mushrooms by themselves before you add any other ingredients to the pan. Also hold off on salting them so they get browner a little faster for you. All right, let's get these guys in there. Now once your mushrooms are really fragrant and nice and tender, then we're gonna add in four ears of corn on the cob scraped down or two cups of corn kernels defrosted. Gonna let the sugars in the corn develop a little and I'm gonna tender up and develop the sugars in a couple of large shallots chopped as well. Two large shallots. Now we can add our salt and pepper as well. Give this a stir. To that, I'm gonna add the last of my leftover turkey, five or six cups. And remember, you can make this with rotisserie chicken the whole rest of the year long. Then, just to keep this saucy and a little bit moist, I'm gonna sprinkle a little of that turkey stock, or you could use chicken stock, of course, down over the top. Just a cup or so. So now I'm gonna take half of my casserole base mixture here the corn, mushroom, and chunky turkey. Pop that in the bottom of our dish. Sauce this up with about half of our poblano sauce. Missed a little pocket over here. Even distribution of sauce is important in casserole building. Then, Charred tortillas. I find that three makes a nice even layer that you can still cut through when you go to serve. And some cheese. Then I'm gonna layer it in a little differently up on top here. We're gonna go all the rest of our filling. Push her down there. Then we're gonna go tortillas. Then we wanna keep these moist when they cook. Then I'm gonna spoon over my extra sauce. And then I'm gonna cap that with more cheese. Now you cool this and store this. This is your make-ahead meal, this casserole. The night you want to serve, bring it back to room temperature and then pop it in a hot oven, 375, even 400 degrees, and bake it until it's deeply bubbly and brown all over the top. A Tex-Mex turkey dish. Turkey, mushroom, and corn casserole.